Okay, switching to camera mode or recording mode, in case if you guys didn't know, stream is bad. Well, mainly it's because of my OBS, but whatever, that's besides the point. So anyway, um... Jay, you still there? Yes, I'm still here. Alright, okay, so, Jay Killen's still here, thank goodness. So, um, instead of doing the, uh, the stream segment of the unboxing video, I figured, why not we do a video out of it? So, that way it would be a lot more better. Um... Better than nothing. Anyway, here's the stuff I'm gonna unbox for this segment. It was supposed to be on stream, but on video instead, so... Look at that. <laughs> and also, I already have some unboxed. So starting off, um, this was before ToyCon, and I was shopping on this uh, this prestige um, shopping area in Manila. It's 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 a really cool place. They have everything. So starting off, I have this Remnant Stormtrooper I got, based from well, the Mandalorian. That is some great armor. That is a great yeah. figure, actually. It is a great figure, and this is based off the uh, the the new 2020 Stormtrooper mold. Instead of the uh, the old one back in uh, 2013, 2014 with the Sand Trooper. So, yep, they, they made a new figure and the proportions look a lot more better. Articulation's great. I mean, it has past 90 degree, degree elbow in addition of a butterfly joint like SH Figuarts or Figma or Mafex. And the downside is that it doesn't have any double, el uh, double knees anymore, which kind of sucks, but... It's still good. Probably to make it more realistic, I suppose, but... Overall, yeah. this is, it seems like a good quality figure. And also, the paint job's alright. I mean, on the front, you can see the... The, like, the dirt and all, but on the back, it's just nothing. Sand, I mean, sure, there's some here on the, uh... On this part, but... Yeah, it's mostly on the front, not on the back, so... That's Hasbro for ya. <laughs> <laughs> Also, don't know if you notice. Sure, it's wearing a helmet, but don't know if you can see here. It, there's actually a fake head underneath this helmet here. You can see the chin poking through the neck. Shit, we can't take off the helmet. It's it's not possible because it's glued on. And I I've seen reports of this one saying that it's a Tamura Morrison head. Yeah, it's definitely a, 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 T a Tamira Morrison head, if you don't- if you know who Tamira Morrison is. I think that's a pretty cool detail that we'll never get to really see, but the fact yeah. that they actually able molded the head of Tamira Morrison underneath the helmet I think is pretty dope. Well, allegedly, because we don't really know. Actually, there are photos of it. Um, if you're gonna watch this one, I am gonna put one right here right now, so... There's that, that's what it looks like. So, yep, definitely a Tamura Morrison head under there. And not only it's used on the Stormtrooper, it also makes sense because they also used it on, on clone trooper bodies as well. Because, you know, clone the tro clone troopers were born by, by Django Fett, right? Also played by Tamura Morrison. Oh, well, yeah, we knew that, yeah, we knew that which was... Um... Which is the whole premise of the Attack of the Clone. Yeah, indeed. And, of course, uh, Boba Fett in in later series, I believe. Yeah. So, yeah, that's... that's Yeah, that's the uh, that's the Stormtrooper for ya. And, uh, yeah, definitely gonna add this to the uh, to the Empire shelf, because I needed more troopers to uh, to flank my uh, my heroes, since I already got so many uh, Luke's, Hans, and Leia's over there. Might as well buy some uh, some troopers for them to fight. Yeah, you need, to, you need to balance out the force. True that. And, yeah, I have a Darth Vader, a Grand Moff Tarkin, and some other members of the Empire. Okay, next one up in the hall. Um, this is definitely the Toycon hall. Uh, can't help myself. I already opened up the season one Mandalorian, or Brown Armor Mandalorian. Yo, such a kick-ass figure. And yes, uh, let me just find his uh, his pulse rifle real quick. He he does come with his uh, his iconic pulse rifle, and some say this is reminiscent of the rifle that Boba Fett used in the, um, I can't tell if it's the droids cartoon or I don't know if it's from the holiday special, but I've seen reviews and videos about it. 
So yeah, what a great homage to that one. Yeah, the figure is great. Look at all the details and, and stuff, all the scuffing and all that. Really, really love this look, and especially the, the dirt and grime on the helmet there. Yeah, it's amazing how much detail they put into that figure. I also love it, the fact that his pulse rifle is as big as he is. Oh, oh yeah, it does. It really does. It is big as he is. <laughs> Although, um, I may run into a problem once we get into the gun he's holding right now. So, yeah, pretty cool, pretty accurate to how he looked. Although, the story is, I, um, I intentionally was going to find the Beskar armor version that he gets after three episodes in the show. If you did watch uh, The Mandalorian, did you watch the show? I did watch the show. Oh good, so um, while I was uh, walking around the con looking for the Beskar armor versions, or the Beskar, ver the Beskar armor version, I was hoping for that one, but unfortunately whenever I walk into some boots it's just the Season 1 Mando. And if I can't find that and I thought to myself, oh, oh well, this is good enough for me and Funny thing is, um, and I know this may sound lucky for me, but I actually got this guy for only like 500 pesos or like somewhere around 10 bucks or lower or something. Not bad. <laughs> I'm, I'm really thankful to get this figure. And not only that, another detail I didn't notice is that his, uh, his thermal, thermal detonators here are painted. Usually the, um, the, well, I didn't know it was painted because I'm sure this is from a previous owner who owned it and painted it up because it just left on painted silver. So so I thought, that, oh, did Hasbro painted this? And then I realized, no, nope, Hasbro did not because I had to look up some, uh, some uh, promotional images online to see that the thermal detonators are unpainted. So whoever owned this Mando before painted it and that's that's actually pretty pretty cool and in 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 a, in a plus. Yeah, it makes that figure stand out from the um stand out from the rest of them. Makes them more unique in my opinion. Yeah, it really is unique. And I know this is a used copy, but the shoulder pad here on this part pops off because well, after extreme posing or something, the glue comes off, and I decided to fix a little bit of uh, blue tack, and it stays on, so nothing to worry about. It still still works, and I'm happy for that. I was gonna I was gonna ask what's next on the docket. Oh, next on the docket are the hands, and I'd say. These hands are a pain in the ass to hold his weapon, and sure, I got it in there, but I had to heat up using, um, I had to heat it up using, um, some hot water to put that, uh, that pistol in, and it, and sure, I can remove it and then put it in this holster, but I think I prefer him with the pistol because he ain't using the, uh, the aforementioned rifle here that much well occasionally in some episodes right that's problematic if he had to do that much work just to get the figure to do what it's supposed to do already it's not a good look for hasbro hmm. yeah true that and another disappointing thing and i get that this is a used copy so it's not going to be a complete to hasbro or anything but it doesn't have this tab here on this part, if you can see. Yeah, that part is missing. I looked everywhere in the packaging and um, looked everywhere for it. It's not there as soon as I take it out. So what this does is basically, well, if, you, if you've seen the show, you know that the Mandalorian um, stores this onto his back. So it's supposed to be stored here on this hole. Right there. Yeah, if you line this belt up, it's supposed to be uh, holster, holstered there. Or, well, this way. So that way you can oh, carry it around. Yeah. Oh, but you're missing the tab. Yeah, it's missing that's... the tab. Oh, that sucks. I feel that pain. <laughs> yeah. I mean, eh, I'm, I'm not even mad about it, considering that it's a used copy, so, um, I'm still happy with my Mando. Maybe in the future I might get the Beskar armor version because I love that version more better than this. I mean, it's still a good figure in appearance, but uh, we like the Beskar armor version better. Don't you agree? Yeah, oh, definitely. 
Actually, it's funny because that was the first thing I was going to ask you at first. I was like, oh, is it the Beskar version? And then you said, no, it's the version of episode one. I'm like, oh, well, I haven't seen that version in a while. Uh, yeah, because it, it happened so fast that he had to replace his armor after being beaten up by the Mudhorn. So it makes sense. It makes sense. It's fine. It's still iconic for what it is. Okay, so moving on to the boxes. And of course, since I got Mando, might as well get little, uh, little Grogu here. Or the child, or Baby Yoda, whatever you want to call him. So, same price as the Mando for only 500. How did yes. you feel when you found out his name was Grogu? I was shocked because the fans thought that he's called, well, just the child or the asset or Baby Yoda, but yeah. But when I first, uh, when I first heard that his name is Grogu, Grogu, I was like, oh, so that's what he's, uh, he's referred to. Interesting. And then I decided to go with that name instead of just the child, because, I mean, sure, you can call him whatever you want, Baby Yoda, child, or Grogu. It's only a matter of preference, really. So yeah, that's my f thoughts on it. And I, and right off the packaging, the arm came off, but that's okay, because it's uh -huh. a ball joint. <laughs> yeah. And uh, holy shit, this thing is tiny. Oh, definitely. That is a small boy. He is a small boy. I mean, let's, uh, let's do a size comparison here, yeah. Because here's Mando. Yep, and I'd say that's actually accurate to what we see in the show, because he's a small boy. Good enough for paying attention to scaling. Yep, it's all in the attention to detail. We can see, uh, I know my light is shining to it, but I pre oh yeah, right here focusing a little bit. If you have this person, if you have this figure in person, you can see that there's little white hair detailing on the uh, on the head just like how it looked in the show which oh, is nice amazing. he's also articulated got a ball joint on the head some well, ball, jo ball jointed arms oh god damn it the other arm just popped off <laughs> well that's okay swivel at the uh, oh it's a it's also a ball joint it's all ball joints so i wouldn't complain of course ball joints would just come off but it's all right though it's all right. Oh, and also comes with this. <laughs> As, oh yeah, I, I um. He, although I wanted this, but this I don't care much about because, yep, these are the accessories that this figure comes with. So, so if you can see here, let me try to focus. Oh, so right frog. here, are, the frog. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we got the frog, then the little bowl in, I think, episode 4, Sanctuary, I think? And then the little, little turn knob from the, from the Razor Crest. Now oh, that's really cute. Those are a lot of small things that could easily get lost or eaten. Yeah, this will definitely be lost, but again, I'm not gonna take these out because I don't care much about them, really. All I care about is the little, the little guy standing next to his next to his Papa Mando. So yeah, plus what a cute packaging this is. So I'm really happy to get the uh, Grogu for my Mando. So there's that. <laughs> a very solid piece of addition to the collection. Really is. Really is a solid piece. Next up on the unboxing train is another Stormtrooper and this time the Artillery Stormtrooper from season two of the Mandalorian. So of course, I can't just have ordinary stormtroopers with their blasters, might as well get some other variants like this one. And I hesitated at first when, uh, when I saw this on the booth because the booth also has the, uh, the incinerator stormtrooper from the, uh, from the last episode of season one. So instead of that, I just settled in with the uh, with the artillery version. As much as I like the uh, the incinerator, this one's still cool though, because might as well have some more firepower in the uh, in the army. Oh, can I see it actually? I need to get a chance to see it. Or are you taking out of the box? Or are you taking out of the box right now? Oh, okay. Yeah, taking it out of the box. Here it is. And it also comes with this little. A thermal detonator that the stormtroopers always store at their back. I, I <laughs> funny oh, thing is, yeah, funny thing is, I never knew what this was because 
right here, as you can see on the uh, on any of the stormtroopers. I always, I, I, I'm always curious what this is in the back, and and I thought that these were thermal detonators. I was like, oh, so basically they're carrying a um an emergency bomb in case if they are gonna get flanked or something. That's interesting. That is interesting. I actually never knew that. Yeah. Now at least now we're learning something new on the Star Wars universe. Where did this go? Oh, it goes to here. Let me fix that real quick. Ah, oh, there we go. Here's the motor piece where you can put uh, this here to use your big black boom or whatever for itself. And oh, at first, um, at first you can like imagine this being box and you can see it's just a trooper. But interestingly, the other accessories start in his back. You store the other thermal detonators. Oh, it popped off. <laughs> oh boy. No. Did the whole thing just pop out? Yeah, just the backpack. So, yep, here's the backpack that this uh, figure was carrying in the back. Really neat. And, uh, yeah, it also comes with three more thermal detonators in there. Is it? Are they removed? Yeah. You, we we're saying how something, dude? I was gonna ask, how's it attach? Oh, it attaches here on the back. You can see there's a peg and a slot, and there's a, uh, wait, I can see it. Right there, there's a okay, peg okay. hole. Yeah, there's a peg hole and a slot right here, so just break this on. And, well, it's a, it's a good fit, it doesn't fall off, so yeah, you could carry those on, so that's pretty cool. And yes, there's an empty space here where you can put the empty thermal detonator if he's not using it. And look at that, that's some nice weapon storage. Yeah, he looks like a beast. Yeah, he is a beast. And also to your curiosity, yep, the other thermal detonators removed, so not only there's one, oh, but... cool. Yeah. Yeah, all of them remove. That's cool. So not only be using one, so you can use all of them to blast some rebel scum or whatever long live the imperial forces long live the empire i'm sorry if i'm showing it off camera but I don't know where this goes though i'm pretty sure there's a weapon search for the e11 can you at least hold can you hold the blaster yep unlike mandos and of course uh, just like the unlike mandos it's not hard so yeah he can hold the blaster without any problem there you go. Can hold it. No problem. So whenever he's not using the motor, he can just be a normal stormtrooper just shooting or being a commander because of this pauldron. Even the articulation isn't impeded by the uh, by the pauldron here. I never get troopers with pauldrons except the one I have on my shelf, which is first order. But this, this is, this is cool. Yeah, to make an exception for this guy. I don't blame you. Yeah. I think this guy will definitely be like my commander or officer for the team because I don't have that in my display. Although there is the um, the stormtrooper commander for uh, I think it was Jedi Fallen Order. I can't tell, but yeah, I think it is. I might pick that up at some point. But for now, this guy will definitely be my uh, my officer or commander, despite being an artillery trooper. He's, he's definitely just gonna hold this uh, this blaster and then this motor, well, I'm just gonna leave it in the accessories bin or or right next to him on the on the display. That's a good like, way of going about it to make sure nothing gets lost or confused. Yeah, true. Hey, uh, Jay Killen left because he's sleepy, so uh, that's okay though. Um, had to let him off this time because of, you know, streaming and whatnot, so that's that's completely okay. Um, anyway, so yeah, here's the uh, the Imperial Death Trooper. And also, I paid the same price as this for Mando. I'm really, really happy to get this. Uh, I don't have any, well, any colored, well, aside from the artillery stormtrooper, I don't have any other as any shadow styled stormtroopers in my collection so I thought I might as well get this uh, and uh yeah and oh I say man this figure looks cool sure he may look a little lanky and kind of looks like he uh kind of skipped arm day but whatever still a trooper still good I mean uh, we are built different so I'm not gonna judge you for that 
And my goodness, the detail on this. I mean, look at this guy. Look at this. It's so, so menacing and all that. Uh, <laughs> really, really um, tight on the joints here and there. It's nice, even though for a used copy, I'm really, really happy for that. And the, uh, um, even though it has like side to side hinge on the, uh, the handle, we'll get into that later. And oh my goodness, I really, really like this figure. Um, I'm aware that this figure is also released, re-released for the archive version and as well as the specialist in a three-pack with Jin Erso and Cassian Andor. Hmm, might as well pick up a loose one, but for now, I'm fine with the uh, with a regular grunt for the Empire. And plus, I got myself a um, a different stormtrooper class than just the basic stormtrooper. So I'm really, really happy with this. It also comes with this modified. Um, E11 blaster, I believe, because of course you can see the shape there. Comes with this pistol, and I think I might definitely. You know what? Let's let's do this live on camera. I'm gonna I'm gonna give this guy this pistol because in the Mandalorian, sure there are remnant stormtroopers that carry the E11, but I re I just recently rewatched it and saw that they actually have um, the um, this uh, this death. Trooper type of pistol, so get in there. Oh wait. Oh there there we go. There we go. There we go. Now Yes, he holds it very well. Kind of. Kinda of, sorta. Oh, I'm afraid of stretching the hands any further, but actually that doesn't look bad. Um yeah, I'm definitely gonna leave him with this pistol because Sure, like I said in this uh, preview here, hopefully Disney doesn't sue me. Um, yeah, you, you can see that the uh, the, the troopers, uh, some of the troopers do carry this pistol, and some do carry the E11. So I know that is an accurate way, but of course, if you want him to carry the E11, you can, or if you want to get him the blaster by a, uh, a death trooper and give him that weapon, this works. So. Uh, yeah, I think I should definitely give him the, the the pistol. I think to have some variety on the um, on the uh, on the shelf. Okay, back to the Death Trooper. Um, I know this is supposed to be a holster right there, and let me see that. Oh, goes past ninety. That's cool. And then next, we just have to put this into his hand. There we go. Uh oh, look at that. Not bad at all. Anyway, here you go. It's the uh, Imperial Death Trooper. Man, the details of this is pretty cool. Even though soft for a uh, Hasbro figure, but still, still a good figure nonetheless. Yep, he may be a little lanky, but it's still good nonetheless. And uh, yep, definitely looking good with the... Uh, holding the rifle right there so yeah this trooper this trooper and this trooper now I have a total of seven or six stormtroopers because I have the um, the stormtrooper Luke on my display which I don't have on my table right now but um, if I count him then I have, would have uh, seven stormtroopers but for now for Imperials only I would have I have six, so just only a couple more until I get to ten stormtroopers in the uh, in my Empire display or collection. Even though even though um, they're different classes, but still I might uh, get into that another time if I have more money. <laughs> okay, um, last two. Of the um of the unboxing, How, which one should we unbox first? You know what? Let's unbox Luke and Yoda. Now this is a figure I've been looking forward to ever since it got announced. I think during the uh, the 40th anniversary of Empire Strikes Back, and when I saw this, I was like, oh my goodness. Um, the uh, initial initial um, prototypes or renders of this one look pretty cool. Um, I think this is the first figure to omit the um, the um, the double to omit or well eliminate the uh, the double jointed knees and go for single knees for future figures. And uh, 
I don't really mind it at all because, well, as far as articulation goes, sure, it may be crucial to your posing, but it just kind of looks awkward with double jointed, uh, double jointed knees that look kind of weird in some poses. But, but in some aspects, it works because it's a toy, and I don't really mind it at all because if you want your figure to look more expressive and stuff. It works as a toy, so I don't really mind if it doesn't, you know, use double jointed elbows, in, uh, double jointed knees anymore. Uh, the single jointed knees work because in neutral position they look more clean, uh, look more, you know, more uniform. But for double jointed, well, it works as a toy as well because, of course, proposing. So I don't really mind it. Yet. <laughs> I just get Yoda's head right there. So yeah. I don't really mind it, and it's still, uh, I mean, you can, you, you can prefer your action figures if all you want, but for me, I don't care which way, because, um, I just like how toys move and work, so, uh, I have no complaints there, so, I'm gonna leave that to you, the viewer, how you feel about Hasbro, um, redesigning some of the new figures with single jointed single jointed knees now instead of double jointed i would like to know in the comments down below this, this yoda looks pretty cool and of course the crown jewel oh man oh man i really 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 love this figure because oh my goodness look at this guy I mean, sure, it's basically like uh, Bespin Luke, but without the coat, so this is Dagobah Luke, so... Oh man, this is pretty cool. Likeness... And uh, focus. Likeness to Mark Hamill, I think. It's kind of there, but uh, I don't know if it's my copy that the eye is a little bit lower than the other one, but in a, in a far distance, you won't notice it, but if you, if you get in closer... You can see that his eyes are well I don't know they kind of look okay to me even though in in like some angles the face just doesn't look right I think focus camera oh well doesn't want to focus and oh man the articulation look at this guy he got a dumbbell joint here he got oh man he got a butterfly joint and whoa way past 90 elbows oh my goodness this is this is this right here is definitely my favorite, my favorite Luke Skywalker figure. Hold on, let me just hoist myself up so you can see it more clearly. There we go. Well, look at that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, sorry if my cameras are off camera, even though I, I was telling stories, but that's okay. Oh my goodness. This figure is awesome. I love it. Definitely the best Luke Skywalker figure ever. And man, so poseable. I think I think this one would definitely be um, rivaling next to the uh, Return of the Jedi Boba Fett and the Bespin Luke I have on my shelf. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely gonna play this after I'm done with this video because man, this figure is amazing. And taking a look at Yoda, and yes, another reason why I want this set or this two pack is of course Dagobah, Dagobah Luke and then Yoda, and this is the brand new mold, not the um, the archive or original release or the 40th anniversary version, because this one right here is way, way smaller. Let me grab a little Grogu for a size comparison. Yeah, <laughs> maybe Yoda, Yoda. That all makes sense, doesn't it? Yep, articulated head, um, joints at the, uh, at the arms. Um, Kinda looks weird that he has long arms, but that's okay though because I'll be having him holding his cane. Oh my goodness me! Um, this robe though, even though it's um, deteriorating, oh well, it, it makes sense because of his age, so it's it's fine by me really. There's a is it is it a ball joint or is it just a swivel? Oh, I think it is a ball joint, and I I think it is. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there is a ball joint there, I think, just subtle, but he has leg articulation as well, forward, back, out, and and knees. The, or, the, uh, the, the original doesn't have that, so at least he has knees right here, as you can see, that's cool. Um, I'm really, really happy with this Yoda, because I really wanted an articulated Yoda, and getting this one really makes me happy. So, 
Yeah, I'm definitely gonna display him with the cane on, so... Makes him his, uh, his, his old look here. Now for the accessories, comes with the backpack that you can stuff Yoda in if you want. Comes with the iconic... Comes with the iconic Graflex, uh, ESB Graflex lightsaber if the camera won't focus, even though it's tiny. Yep, there we go, comes with a lightsaber. Comes with a DL44 blaster, comes with two extra hands, an alternate face here when he's about to uh, use the force or take in a shit, or he's constipated. <laughs> And then, of course, this little teeny tiny game. So, yeah, what a great set. I'm really happy for this. Let me uh, fix this in one area so they won't be lost. Or else that would really, really suck. Let me just put Luke and Yoda next to the Death Trooper here. Oh man, I'm really, really happy. First off, uh, first of all, I was uh, looking for episode 5 version of Lando Calrissian. So it was when I was walking around, the 40th anniversary version. I've seen the original release of Lando, but uh, honestly, I really do not like the face paint on that. I mean, it's only a matter of preference. The likeness is uncanny to if it's on the, um, I think, the the first release and then the um, the second release, which is, of course, the Empire's the 40th anniversary ESB one, has the photo printed one which to some yeah I agree it kind of looks uncanny but it, lo it looks a lot more better because of course why would you prefer this to this because it looks more realistic I mean I get it, it's only a matter of preference but I think I prefer the photo real version so I might hunt now for that to complete my ESB crew and to complete my ESB heroes and after that I might get some bounty hunters to complete cast as well and of course some well, I'm also gonna get some Rebel Troopers because I don't have those yet. And yeah, I'm also aware about the Rebel Troopers. So yeah, uh, Luke, Yoda, really great set here. I'm definitely gonna display them in... Display them, or gonna display them with Luke carrying this on to Yoda here. Or maybe not. We'll see about that. I really, really love this, uh, this figure. And last, but not least... Figma Madoka Kaname. Now, I've been looking forward, or I've been dying to get this figure because in a while, I the last Figma figure I got was uh, Kyoko Sakura, and um, I left it there. Be and I do have a Madoka, and I don't know if you can see it, she's right there behind my Monica acrylic stand. Uh, that's the the school uniform version, and this right here is the, uh, the magical gold version, which I'm only missing in my collection because uh, the prices for well prices for this figure really really risen up right rose up or well, risen up I don't know how you say it but whatever. And when getting this, I'm really really happy because I can finally get to complete my Holly Quintet or Holy Quintet Holly Quintet Holy Quintet I don't know how you pronounce. Um, is that how you pronounce it? Whatever, I'm just gonna go with Holy Quintet. This figure, man, this is just, oh my goodness. I'm definitely gonna have fun playing with my figures later after this video. Now I should be very, very careful with the accessories. Got her, uh, her signature bow and, uh, from the looks of, oh, it looks like it's warped. I don't know if that's intentional or not. Kind of looks warped. Or I'm not entirely sure if I mean I get it that this is an old figure. Wait, is it is it intentional that it is bowed? Huh. I don't know. I think it might be intentional, but I'm gonna leave it there. I'm not gonna attempt to heat it up or fix it with with uh, with hot water because I am afraid it might melt or break considering how much I paid for this. I paid for like uh, two 8 pesos for this, or in other words, $50 for this figure, so I don't want to risk it. We have her iconic staff, uh, this is her standard mode, so I guess basically this turns into this, as far as I know. I watched the show, and hmm, I, I don't know if it's intentional if it is bowed, but I think it is intentional, so it's part of the design. I think only the main bow is, uh, actually, no. 
yeah, I think I might do a review on this if I if I can. So I'm just gonna put this aside for now. Just be careful not to break the not break the bow because that would really really suck. Also it comes with this little evil uh, piece of shit. I don't know if it's showing even though he's uh, he's too bright white. There you go. Comes with this little piece of shit too. Comes with. Uh, Comes with two faces. Don't know if you can see it, but she comes with two faces. Here is the angry face, and then here is the what the fuck did I just saw face. <laughs> comes with four of her magical arrows. And uh, don't know if you can see it, but before I take the figure out. Oh. <laughs> Well, Madoka just jumped off and... Okay, I'm just gonna put her down there. I'm sorry. I, okay, it's a good thing she's protected. And also comes with these two teeny tiny grief seeds right here. I'm gonna open this last because I am not gonna risk uh, losing this while I'm recording because that would definitely suck. But it also comes with its own Figma stand, the base, and the hands. Pretty cool. And of course, the obligatory Figma sandwich bag that you store your accessories in. Although I might gonna keep this uh although I might gonna keep this in the other uh although I'm definitely gonna keep this although I'm definitely gonna keep this in the um the with the other uh Figma although I'm gonna keep this in the other Figma uh, sandwich box uh, sandwich bags that I usually don't use, but, uh, oh my goodness me. I've been dying a lot to get this figure to complete my Holly Quintet team, and it finally, finally paid off. I'm really, really happy I got this figure. Look at this. I don't know my light is showing it. There we go. Sorry for the light, though, because, of course, might have to, uh, you know, brighten up my face and all that. So, Look at this! Now uh, let's do a size comparison with Luke. Yeah, look at that. She's short, cause well, well, anime meets real person. Let's not get into that. So yeah, for an anime Figma figure, freaking love this one. I really, really, really do. Don't know if you can see her face right now, but uh, she's smiling. You can see that. You can see her face. She be smiling. Might have to fix her articulation a little bit because her hands are onto the side for. Every reason tight, but that's okay though, because I'm gonna be playing with this figure later on. Man, this dress is kind of poofy. I don't know if how am I going to uh, have her pose, or well, have her in a neutral stance like this with her arms splayed out. But yeah, freaking love it. Oh my goodness. Um, packing with a lot of articulation. The bow is a separate piece. Um, the arms are on the, um, on like this dumbbell joint. Arms has 90, and look at that, the range of movement is just impeccably amazing. She can kick forward as well and back and out because of this, uh, this, uh, this puffy, poofy dress. But it's part of her design, I really, really love Madoka Magica. Watched it years before, getting this one, and completing my team really really makes me happy that I finally finally completed my uh, my Holly Quintet team and yes I know I'm aware about the school uniform versions I already got the modica of that so I have more face plates to this figure and of course there's the um, the Madokami or God Madoka and Devil Homura or Akuma Homura figure and of course Nagisa Momoi from the rebellion so I might get her next time by the time if I'm going to collect again because for now this haul is happy because uh, this haul is already made already made me satisfied and I'm not gonna buy any more at the moment unless if I'm gonna get more troopers or get more uh, troopers and other characters in my collection uh, yeah <laughs> 50 dollars for this figure is it worth it yes it really is worth it. So yeah, that's all for this unboxing video. Uh, sorry, again, in the beginning, this was supposed to be a stream segment. Uh, Nero, if you're watching this, sorry, your vote didn't uh, come to fruition. But that's okay, though. I'll um, 
try and of course fix some some uh, problems here and there and stuff but of course for now um announcement since the stream didn't go so well kind of even though we were having fun i'll be taking a break from uh live streams and i'll be making videos from here on out because i needed some uh some fixing and upgrades if i ever get to you know live stream again and i did say this to jay killen and if ever if i'm ever going to stream again i owe him a, prof a proper stream so that way um his experience won't be uh you know uh won't be messed up with thanks to my uh to my laggy stream and of course to you guys as well so i humbly apologize um i i'll owe you guys a proper stream as soon as i get my uh my setup upgraded or fixed so yes um that's it for this unboxing video for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching this if you guys want more of this let me know in the comments down below if i if you want me to burn my wallet in hell in oblivion until it resurrected and of course saving my life so yeah that's it for this video hope you guys enjoy watching it as much as i do be sure to leave a like comment down below and of course consider subscribing it'll help me a huge bunch in making more content like this and click on the bell notification to be notified and with that being said thank you guys all so much for watching fin the time night signing off and i'll see you guys next time and as always stay awesome and have fun fellow knights and adventurers